Today is a day nine for distance learning. And I figured that while we are all really trying to figure out how to navigate this new normal, that I would do a vlog. And I don't know about you guys, but I really enjoy seeing people at home and how they schedule out their day and the things that they do that really works for them because then I it might work for me. Hello, I am here. You are in the way. Say hi to Walter. <laughs> but I figured that it would be cool to see what everybody else is doing and how they're managing it, especially with kids and a husband who also works from home. It tends to get a little bit tricky. And I think that we are doing a pretty good job of figuring out and navigating these waters. <laughs> and so I'm gonna share with you guys my day and I want to take you through, I'm gonna talk you through little bits and pieces of how we manage it, talk you through what school likes looks like for Blaine and Ian because for both of them it looks very, very di different. Blaine is in kindergarten and Ian is in seventh grade. So two huge differences. And then I wanted to share what I do for my day and how I structure it so that I feel as though I'm being productive and I'm not getting into a slump, which it's really, really easy to get into a slump, especially now that we're at home. So I wake up typically about six to 6.15 and I get ready. Um, I allow myself maybe one or two days a week where I don't get ready, like full blown hair, makeup, like getting dressed really fancy. Yesterday was my day <laughs> to not get ready. So today I decided to get up, wash my hair, put on makeup, look good, because I also knew I was gonna do this vlog. Let's just be real. <laughs> By eight o'clock, I try to be up in my office, which I am very, very blessed to have an office, but I am up in my office ready to go. And so really quick, my hours, the way that my district works is that we have office hours. So these are the hours that I have to be available for my students. We are not allowed to do Zoom um, or any sort of online conferencing. So from nine to 12, I need to be available for my learners. And then from one to three, I'm available. And this is through email, through the discussion posts. I'm providing them feedback with the assignments that they're submitting for me. So that's kind of what it looks like. I'm gonna be totally honest, the past couple days has been very, very quiet, but I have a few things that I need to get done today. So I'm gonna walk you through some of those items. I am starting to hear that the little one is waking up. So let's go ahead and make sure he gets dressed because that's the first thing he needs to do in the morning before he gets to have anything fun. He needs to be dressed, ready to go for school because he has a Zoom call with his teacher. It's like a morning meeting style at 10 o'clock in the morning. So, all right, let's go. Blaney, did you get dressed this morning? Yeah. Without me having to tell you. Yeah. I'm so proud. Can I see what you put on? What'd you put on? Shorts, maybe, nothing else. <laughs> and new underwear. Oh, new underwear. Good job. High five. Good boy. Am I the only one that drops all the sheets from the bed as they sleep? Dear Lord. So before I head up, I wanted to show you guys this little area in my kitchen. For those of you that have been watching me a while, you know how much I really wanted Trent to make me a bar top. He finally made it. So it is a natural wood. Look how pretty that is. Isn't it beautiful? I love it. It's one of my new favorite spots in my kitchen. It makes my heart happy. So I can already hear the dinging, meaning that my emails are starting to go off like crazy already. That means that the kids are up really early <laughs> this morning. So before I get started answering some of those emails and looking through some of the um, activities that I have for my students today, because I like to just double check everything, I wanted to show you guys my little desk area. So in my office, there are two different desks. We have a larger one, which is this one right here, um, this one right there, that I do all of my lives from, and then I have a smaller one that I like to work from. 
I know that seems very, very odd, but I do. So here's the little desk area that I work at every single day. I literally bought this for 10 bucks off of Craigslist. I mean, it was like the best find ever. It works, I really like the vibes that it gives. Um, and then I have just a little, I get asked this question a lot. This is a little Mac mini that I use. It's old, but we put a new hard drive inside of it and it works fantastic. So we just attached a monitor and then that is an Apple keyboard and then a Logitech um, mouse, which it's Bluetooth, so it works really, really well. And then I have a little dry erase board off to the side. I've always had this dry erase board. I did not do this new for distance learning. I like it just to be able to write my to-dos and some of the things that my husband and I are kind of planning and working on. And then at the bottom, I did put two little clipboard areas, one for math, one for ELA, to be able to track my students and their progress and see what they're doing um, every single day. So I kind of add that into those clipboards. So I have my coffee, I have my bagels, so I'm gonna sit down, answer some of those emails, and get to work. No. I've been dealing with a lot of emails, and then we didn't have something up, so I had to get that put up. <laughs> I really, I should have knocked on wood when I said that it was a pretty quiet week for the most part. No smiling. Hey Blaney. No smiling. Hey. Can you tell everybody what do you do every day at ten o'clock? What? What do you do on the? What are you the, about to do? What are you about to do on the computer? Clean it. Clean it. <laughs> he sees an image. <laughs> no, honey. What do you do every day with your teacher? Uh oh, I zoomed. Oh. Hot dog. If you're not gonna be serious, I'll turn it off. I don't off. know. What do you get to do? You get to see your friends. Do you get to see your friends? Do you get to sing songs with your no. teacher? She doesn't sing a song? Yeah, I do. You do? Do you enjoy it? Do you like being able to see them? Yeah? You're being shy, aren't you? Can you kiss? Mwah. Thank you, Mama. Join? There's a little preview. <laughs> Join the video. So this morning has been pretty insane. So far I have been answering emails nonstop from students just asking questions and then I started doing some grading to track attendance and to see whether or not my students are completing the assignments that they need to do. So this is kind of what it ends up looking like. So here is my checklist for math. Um, and what I did is I just created a basic table inside of Google Docs um, and I separated it by Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I wrote in the dates um, for which week this is and every single day my students know that they have to complete a skill. And so one skill includes notes, practice and then a quick check and so I have three blinks there to be able to track what they've completed on that specific day because my students are all on different areas in the class. I am able to really just mark off saying here's something that they completed for that day so you can see the student did M6 notes and then they did M6 classwork um, and if they do one thing from that that folder from that specific skill it counts them as being attendant. So I have this checklist for math, and then I have one that's pretty similar for reading. Blaney. Yeah? What did you draw today? A bunny. Yeah, what else did you do in class? Um, draw chocolate. You drew chocolate, what else? And. What song? <laughs> bunny. <laughs> you sang little bunny foo-foo, didn't you? Little bunny foo-foo coming through the forest. Did you have a good day in class? Yeah. Nice. Look at me. So I'm still in my spot, but I have big news because we just got word from PDE, which is the Department of Education in Pennsylvania, that we are officially closed for the entire school year. So we will be distance learning all the way until the end of May. This is going to be my new normal, people. Here we go. Are you excited to have me here all the time? I'm ready to eat. 
It's not my lunchtime. I am on the clock until 12. <laughs> you didn't answer my question. Are you well, happy to have me here yes, every day, you. all day? I love you and the kids. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. He's crying. Yes, I do. Inside. Oh, I see a tear. <laughs> you going to put my shelf up? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go make lunch in a minute. <laughs> it's about 11.40 or so, and so it's lunch time for the boys and for me. Um, so I'm gonna head downstairs and we're gonna make something to eat. Hello, Walter. <gasps> Hello. What are you doing? Who's that? Go get him. Go get him. No. <laughs> What do you want for lunch, bub? Huh? Don't even know. All right, babe. Here you go. Thank you. So I try and get Ian his food first because his lunch is a little bit weirder. It's like from 11 to 12 or so, right? 12, 15 like 11 to 12, 15 or something to that extent. So he has to get back, whereas mine is from 12 to one technically, um, but I start making his lunch at about 11 40, 11 45. So then that way he can eat and then head back to his next Zoom class. So Ian's classes, he has to follow his periods for how he would go through the day. And then he meets with his teachers on Zoom. Not every day does he have to meet with all his teachers on Zoom. This morning he didn't have any calls, but this afternoon he has three. So we set him up a little area downstairs um, for him to be able to work and have a little bit more quiet, especially from Blaine. Check out that storm cloud. Isn't that crazy? Oh my gosh. It's so pretty outside. Pretty pop. Ooh, we have hail, babe. There's hail. Big chunks of it, too. So while Ian had a really fancy lunch, he got like a turkey cheese lettuce wrap with goldfish, super carb related. That's how we roll in my house. We, Trin and I, and Blaine, on the other hand, are not gonna get the super fancy lunch. What are we eating? Nachos. Nachos! Homemade queso. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> not homemade queso. So we're gonna eat lunch together. Okay. Dip it. Dip it real good, dude. Ooh, slow motion, slow motion shot. You should have came from this angle though, so it's like, oh, slow motion, homemade queso. Oh. I've got my coffee. It is now after lunch, and we are gonna start. What's up, Bubba? Good. You okay? Yeah. Yeah. Um, we are gonna start with the last part of our day. Hmm. Can you give me a second, please? Mm -hmm. Go, Papa. Go with Daddy. Not doing You're not following directions. Daddy. So we're about to um, go in for the last part of our day um, before it's kind of family time, dinner time, clean up the house time is typically what we end up doing. But Trent and I spent some time, like while we were eating lunch, coming up with a schedule for the boys because now that it is a done deal, we are not headed back. We do need to have some sort of a schedule, especially for Blaine. Ian, not so much because he has a schedule and his is on the fridge, but this is that's the one that the school gave him. So we kind of let him do his day and we just check in with him periodically. 
as far as Blaine goes, the only thing he has is that 10 o'clock Zoom call. So we need to structure it in a way that allows me to be able to still do my part, get my work done, um, and Trent will help out while he's doing his things that he has to get finished. So here's what we came up with. Um, it's a rainbow color because Blaine loves rainbows. So we did 8 o'clock to 10, which is the red, and that's the waking up, getting dressed, brushing your teeth, doing your hair, eating breakfast. Did I mention that? I don't remember. Um, but that's kind of morning time. At 10 o'clock is when he has his Zoom call with his teacher for morning meeting. And so we figured from 10 to 1130, that means he would have an extra hour of work time. We would give him different activities. So his teacher puts things on Google Classroom, which we're able to access all of the materials on Google Classroom so he can do different activities. And we'll do some different fun stuff as far as work things here in like our own stuff that we have like I have books from kindergarten I have activities from kindergarten now I'm like yeah score saved that kindergarten stuff for a reason so 10 to 11 30 that's what's going to be his school time from 11 30 to 12 15 we'll go downstairs Ian has his lunch um I kind of have my lunch um I will prep lunch we will clean up and we will allow them to have just a little bit of tv time from 12 15 to one o'clock he's gonna have quiet time in his room he gets to play with his toys puzzles whatever he has in there that's what he's gonna get to do and then from one to two o'clock it's gonna be either arts crafts or play outside time depending on the weather so that's the general schedule after that, it's kind of family stuff. We typically will do different things as a family. We might, you know, make dinner. We might have like, well, we obviously will make dinner, but we will, we might watch a movie together as a family. We might do puzzles or games. It just kind of depends. So I left that fairly open. Um, I just needed something a little bit more structured for the daytime so that I could also make sure that they're getting what they need, but I'm also able to get some of my work done. So that's kind of the reason for the schedule. So I'm going to laminate this, which I have my laminator. I have like five laminators. It's really bad. And then Ian has a chore list. Like I said, his schedule's already pre-done. Um, his school sent that out. We have it on the fringe. So now for him, he just needed something to help with chores. So we added a few chores here and there on certain days of the week to make sure that he's just helping out a little bit more. Because now that we're at home, the house is going to get messier. It's just, that's the way it works. Like we're all here all the time. We need to make sure that as a family, we're keeping it clean. So between vacuuming extra times during the week and dusting a few extra times during the week, because my house gets dusty, we just needed a way to make sure that he's helping out and doing his part. So I'm going to laminate both of those, put them on the fridge so that that way we can reference them throughout the week. So yeah, um, I am pretty curious. Like if you have kids, I want to know what your schedules look like. So if you don't mind sharing your schedule with me, I would love for you to put it down in the comments just so that we can kind of see what other parents, how they're doing it. How are you structuring it? Like if you work, like how are your work hours doing? I don't know. I'm just curious. I just want to know. I'm being nosy. I'm sorry, guys. It just happens. So, all right, I'm going to laminate now. <laughs> It is four in the afternoon and I'm going to go ahead and call it quits for today. I feel like I've done a lot of work. I've been pretty productive for the most part, but now I want to just spend time with my two boys. I need to plan out what I'm going to make for dinner tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about distance learning and how I tend to manage it just with having two kids and they're going through distance learning, leave those down in the comments below. Maybe one of these days I will do a Q&A for how I make things work here at my home. So thank you again for watching. Be sure to hit the thumbs up to like this video. Also, if you are new here and you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you also hit the notification bell so that you will be notified every time I go live or when I post a new video. And I will see you all next time. Bye guys.